and welcome to the Scottish Power HQ in the heart of Glasgow, where we're delighted to be hosting the semi-final of the Scottish Power Youth Challenge Cup. This is our biggest competition, where over 300 teams embark on an epic journey at the beginning of the year. Now, after a thrilling weekend of quarter-final showdowns, just four teams remain in each age group in the hunt for glory. My name is Kim Guthrie, SWF's Club and Competitions Coordinator, and joining me today is Mark Lenethram from Scottish Power Customer Business Team. Welcome to The Draw, Mark, and thank you so much to Scottish Power for helping us out today. Many watching will recognise you from Central Girls. Condolences, Central didn't quite make it to The no. Draw today, but the girls did you proud against Musselbra on Sunday. What is it that you do for Scottish Power? Um, I work in customer business, and it's business to business marketing. Um, so it's dealing with our, our business customers, um, trying to get new business customers on the books, but also trying to retain our existing uh, business customers. This is by far SWF's biggest cup competition in terms of reach and numbers of players. How does it feel to have Scottish Power's name attached to it? Uh, I think from a, a personal point of view, working at Scottish Power and having Scottish Power you know, sponsoring um, the biggest sort of cup for uh, youth football at grassroots level is really good. I know from sort of my own experiences in the past, it's been difficult for Scottish women's football to potentially attract sponsorship, especially at the, the grassroots level. So to get a company the size of Scottish Power um, backing competition can only be good for you know the whole of the, the game, and hopefully it will lead to more sponsors coming in. Absolutely, thank you. And uh, the girls who play in these cups have massive aspirations. Um, what did you hope to be when when you were fourteen? I, I played rugby in my younger days and played some football, but I wasn't quite of a level where I would have loved to have been a professional footballer, uh, but I wasn't at that, that level um, to make it. Um, so probably, uh, as I say, I would have liked to have been a, a professional football player, mm -hmm. but just wasn't quite of that, that level. Well, thanks, Mark. And of course, the immediate aspiration of the girls remaining in 2024 Scottish Power Youth Challenge Cup is to find out who they play in the semi-finals on the 7th and 8th of September. For the teams in each draw, they've been numbered in alphabetical order and they all appear on your screen throughout the draws. Mark, you'll be drawing first the home team, followed by the away team. The anticipation in the air is palpable and we are preparing for these cup draws. And I know that everybody at home is just as excited as I am. So Mark, first we're going to do the 14s age group and the teams in this competition are Glasgow City, Glasgow Girls, Hamilton and Winchborough Albion. So, Mark, when you're ready, can you please draw the first home team? Yep. Number four. <laughs> Number four, we've got Winchborough Albion. And the away team will be? The away team is number one. Number one, Glasgow City. And the next home team will be? Number two. Number two, we've got Glasgow Girls. And the final away team will be? That's number three. Number three, Hamilton Ackies. Thanks, Mark. Whoa, what a matchup we have there. I know that all the players back home will already be excited for those games. Now, we will proceed directly into the 16s draw, where we have Bayside's Youth Performance League team, Bonus United, Glasgow City's Youth Performance team, and Musselburgh Windsor. Mark, can you please draw the home team first, followed by the away team again? Uh, number two. We have number two up first as the home team, Bonus United. And they will face number four. Number four, we have Musselburgh Windsor. The next home side will be number one. Number one, Bayside's Youth Performance League team. And they will face, of course, number three. Number three, Glasgow City's Youth Performance League team. Thanks again, Mark. And again, what a setup of games we've got there. Finally, let's proceed straight on to the final round of draws, and that's the 18s. Gifnick are in after beating EKFC 5-1 on Sunday, and they're joined by Glasgow girls who needed extra time to get past Dunfermline. Also in the pot, we've got Inverness Caledonia Thistle, who beat St Mirren 3-1 in the quarterfinals, and they're joined by Highland rivals Ross County, who beat Gart Cairn 6-2. Okay, Mark, for the final time, let's draw the first home side. And it's number four. Number four, we've got Ross County, and they will face. Number one. Number one, Gifnick SC, and the next home side will be. It's number three. Number three, Inverness Caledonia Thistle, and they will face. 
Number two. Number two, and finally we have Glasgow Girls. Well, again, and unsurprisingly, what a set of semi-finals we are in store for. So there we have it, six semi-finals drawn, and now we know who will face each other for next month's place in the finals at Ochoview in November. Keep your eyes peeled for the semi-final venues, which will be announced shortly. Thanks again to Mark and to Scottish Power here for supporting this cup with SWF's principal partner. Keep an eye on SWF social media for all of the details for these cup matches and keep an eye on our website as well. Best of luck to all the teams and thanks again, Mark, for helping Thank me you. out today. It's a pleasure.